Hi there, my name is Roman Dat, and I am a UCOS student working on review board. And this is my first video where I'll talk a bit about my project that I'm working on right now, uh, where I'm basically developing a login rate limiting feature for both the user interface and API logins uh, within giblets. So I'm doing it within giblets, so it allows the flexibility of it to be used not only in review board, but potentially other applications. So right now I have opened here rate limit.py, which I've developed. It's almost it's it's almost done, just little nitpicky things that I gotta fix. But I have this working right now with the tests within the web API framework in giblets. So to go over how the rate limiting works on my end, I basically have a function that returns a boolean to determine if a current user or IP address has exceeded a given rate limit or not. So in the parameters, I have to be given a rate, which is the number of login attempts allowed per period of time. And the key would help me determine if I'm dealing with a user object or IP address. And these parameters are important so that I can develop some cache key to keep track of how much time is left before the rate limit time is over or if they have exceeded the rate limit or not. So yeah, I just have to parse through uh, the given rate and if it doesn't work, then it takes a de default value. Uh, also, I look through the key and determine if I have a valid key or not and those are used to make this cache key. And yeah, it just allows me to return uh, the number of attempts allowed, uh, which is a limit, uh, the number of attempts that have already been made and the time that is left until the rate limit period is over. So yeah, that would just return whether the count has exceeded the limit. And if it has, that means it's lim the number of attempts have been exceeded the rate limit. So I've developed some tests for that function of mine so I can go through different types of uh, rates that are defined. Uh, I could al I also tested for invalid keys or invalid rate limit and I even tested for it if um, the rate limit has been exceeded or not for a given user. So I can show you these tests are running so, so you can see the progress that I've made so far. So yep, those are all running and I've developed, well, I've um, forwarded this feature over to the web API aspect in giblets. So I can also run the web API tests here. So yeah, those are all working too. It just tests like custom rate limits, uh, test for exceeding the rate limit as well. So just making sure that it works in the web API. So just to show you a bit of it. So maybe for example, this function here, a test case of the custom rate limit. I've tested for uh, a limit rate of three attempts per second and three attempts per hour. So if it's three per se second, I'm gonna assume that they're all true. So that's working so far. And if it's three per hour, then by the fourth attempt, it'll give me this response where the next number of login attempts have exceeded. And as you can tell over here, they've all passed. So they're all working within the web API and the main function in, of the rate limit. So what's left to do is I need to implement this in review boards um, authentication form. And then once that's complete, then I'm basically done this first project of mine. And yep, that's everything so far. And thank you for watching.